On your midterm term review sheet, you have a question towards the end, number 12. What are the four things to remember to include um, when you're doing a visual element inside of a paper? The first thing I want you to write down is it needs to be text wrapped. I don't want it sitting out there all on its own, okay? Text wrapped. The second thing is it needs to be towards the beginning of your paper, and then maybe you might want to just put a little aside or close to where you're describing it because you might, in your research paper, include an image, and you'll need to remember to have it close to where you're describing it. So for your rhetorical analysis, you had it at the beginning of the paper, but in your research paper, you might describe it towards the middle. You need to have it close to where you describe it, either at the beginning, if you're going to reference it all the way through your paper, or close to where you're going to describe it. Okay? The next thing you need to remember is that it needs to be uh, an appropriate size. If it is a graph, I need to be able to see it. I need to be able to see the details. However, if it is a picture and it's huge and it takes up half of your first page and it could be quite small, that's not appropriate either. So it needs to be an appropriate size for what, what information you're communicating. And then last, and I really need you guys to know this, okay? It needs to have underneath it figure one. title of it, and that's just your title, whatever you want to give it, title, and then a parenthetical citation where you found it. So this parenthetical citation will lead to the works cited page where you will see the source, where you found the image, whatever that image is. Okay? So for a visual element, you need to have those four things. Make sure that you remember those four things. And then lastly, let me just finish up with that last question, which is the five sections of a critique. And, of course, the first section is? Intro. Intro. Good. Second section? Summary. Summary of it. Third section? Analysis. Analysis. Fourth section? Response. Response. And fifth section? Conclusion. Conclusion. Good. Okay. Make sure that you know those five sections of a critique.